Hey, what's up guys? Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial. Today is the Cinema 4D tutorial and I want to just go over um, most blinds, which is found under MoGraph. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and get started. So here's our most blind. It starts out, you know, simple line. And then under simple here, we can increase the length. So I'll just increase it to like 300. And then uh, steps, I'm going to leave at that segments we can increase the segments to however much we want I'm just gonna go with 15 and then we can go ahead and fan it out with the angle H there we go and then uh, angle P that kinda twists it up a bit um, so I'm gonna twist it up and then curve we can get it to kinda curve a bit and then increase bend one which way or the other we get some cool effects doing this and then there's also the twist. So as you can see, it's pretty controllable and you can get some really cool looking stuff. So I think I'm going to go with something like that. And now under most blind, or go ahead and click on most blind. And then under simulate, go to particles. And then we'll just add wind in there. At the moment it's not doing much, but we'll go ahead and work on it. Okay, go to fields. Make sure the mode is on include and then drag wind in there. Now you can see it's starting to do something. Now I'm going to increase the turbulence slightly. Wind speed I'm going to bring up to 6. Uh, turbulence scale you can turn that up or down. It doesn't, doesn't really matter too much. Um, turbulence frequency um, we'll try that. So you can see it's just really subtle. Obviously we can make it a little more hectic. Turn up the turbulence a lot more. Turn up the wind speed and turn up the frequency. So now you can see that's much more hectic. Again, you know, we can crank it up even more. See how that looks. Probably gonna look ridiculous. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit excessive, I think. But anyway, go ahead and turn this back down to 7, I guess. Let's try something like that. Um, turbulence frequency we can turn down. Turbulence we can turn down. Oh. I set that to 700. I don't know how in the world I managed to do that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and, you know, rotate this to adjust it. I'll just set it at 90. Go ahead and place it right under there. And you can see it, you know, creates a nice little, um, kind of like a, some sort of tentacles or, uh, I can't recall the name right now, but those things you see under water and like coral reefs. I can't believe I forgot the name. Anyway, um, we can also use other things to affect most blind, or we can use several different things. Um, we can do turbulence. Um, I'm pretty sure all of these affect it. See, like, let's see, let's put gravity on there and see what happens. Yeah, see, so gravity affects it as well. Um, you can reverse the gravity by, let's see, negative 100, right? Yeah. So you can see it, it really doesn't move it around much. Um, we could turn this to box, and then now you can see, you know, one side's going to sag a bit, and this one's going to be brought up. And then, of course, we can also do, let's see, where is that? 200. And as you can see, the fall off effects what is um, pulled down by the gravity and what is um, not. And then um, we can go back to the most blind. Let's add in some wind again to affect it. And uh, go ahead and drag whoop, effectors. Go ahead and drag wind in there. Or fields, rather, excuse me. Drag wind in there. And uh, under the settings, again, we're just going to increase all this stuff a little bit. So there you go. And then um, now if you go to render this, you're going to see that there's nothing there. What you need to do is um, under here, go grab a circle. And uh, I'm going to make this like 20. I don't want it so big. Anyway, um, where, or where are we at here? Um, oh, and a sweep nerves. So go ahead and drag this down. Drag this down. Now put the most blind and the sweep nerves, the circle, 
on top. And there you go. Now if we render it out, we actually have something. And I guess, and they are still affected by the wind and everything. And then let's go to sweet nerves. And uh you know, you can uh, mess with this stuff, you know, the in scale. So if we shrink that down, you can see it starts out kind of fat and then gets really skinny at the tips. I prefer the way that looks over just the, you know, jagged or the um, blunt ends. Um, so, yeah, you can you guys can play around with this experiment and uh, come up with some pretty cool stuff. So uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy. I'm out of here. Peace.